What's up guys, what's going on? Dank back again, and today we're gonna to be doing a little bit something different. Uh, I, I haven't really showed this channel or this game on the channel before, but this is uh, Crossing Void uh, from Dengeki Bunko, the people that make, uh, I don't know, I, I guess Dengeki Bunko games. Um, they have uh, SAO characters, um, a bunch of other stuff too that I don't really know, uh, like a regular Magic High School or something like that. A bunch of characters from a lot of popular animes, uh, most of which I'm not super familiar with, but who I am familiar with and I am super stoked to summon on is uh, Komodo Girl Shino. So she just dropped today. Um, I have the, who is it? The uh, Komodo Asuna that just dropped like a week or so ago got her in about i think it was 44 pulls so i still have a good bit of limited uh limited summon token or limited summon tickets left before i have to dip it to my mygo but i'm really really hoping i can pull uh shauna before she goes away or before i have to hit pity or dip into all my mygo but um, for those who haven't seen this game before or who don't really know anything about it, it's it's like a, a lot of other kind of hero collector slash RPGs. You know, just it's kind of like a turn based RPG where you have status effects, healers, you know, standard standard RPG shit. But it's cool because it kind of has the aesthetic of a 2D fighting game. Uh, all the animations are really really cool looking. Lots of flashy colors. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, I would highly suggest uh, checking it out if you um, if you like the uh, characters or the art style, or if you just like a good good gotcha RPG. Um, there's two kinds of summons. There's your standard gotcha pulls, which require these blue uh, tickets right here. There will be like regular summon banners of characters, and then there will be limited summon banners. Uh, the limited summon banners usually only come around, I think, like once every couple of weeks or maybe once or twice a month. And the characters are insane. They're really, really, really good. So yeah, we got Shayna here, and I have 12 tickets before I have to go into my Mygo, which are like your spirit orbs, uh, spirit gems, whatever you really want to call them. Uh, it's, it's the currency for this game uh, to summon and buy energy. So... I guess we'll just, just kick it off. Um, every banner has a pity timer. Uh, so 91 draws will guarantee you the character if you don't hit it before then. On top of that, there is a probability chance that actually stays with you or stays with your account like through individual banners. And I guess what I mean by that is, let's say I don't get Shayna at all. I run out of my go. I can't summon for her at all anymore. Uh, my S probability will go up to, I think, maybe about 2%, maybe 3%. I forget the exact number, but it, it starts to get up there quite quite quickly. If I don't get the character before the banner ends, that S probability chance will stay there until the next banner. So it basically rolls over, which is cool, which is something I, I've never really seen before in a gacha game. And uh, I thought that was actually pretty interesting, the way that they're doing it with this one. So uh, you can do one uh, single or you can do multis. You can honestly pull like, uh, you know, a thousand, well, not literally a thousand, but a hundred times, I believe, um, before, you know, just make sure you have the tickets. But you can go up to a hundred times if you really want to. And of course, it'll tell you the price of how many tickets you have. It'll take from the tickets first, then it'll take from your MyGo. But yeah, I, I thought that was pretty cool, the way that they did their summoning system. But I don't like doing multis in this game, so I'm going to stick with singles. A, because it'll keep my video longer. And uh, if if I happen to hit Shauna in, like, right... I keep saying Shayna, Shauna. I... I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, this bay right here. So we'll just keep on doing singles, and uh, we'll see what happens. Yes, I know. I have not been able to tell the difference... If, if there is a difference of, like, if you can tell that you've got a five star or a, an S character, uh, which is essentially like a five star. So there's one, two, three, four different ranks of a character. You have green, blue, purple, and then gold. The, the really cool thing about this game in particular is, like, let's say you get a green character 
that you really want to use, but there's still a chance to get a gold version, you don't have to hold off on powering up that green version of the character. You can power up that green version of the character and then feed that green character. Oh, sweet, got a hue. Um, you can then feed that green character into the uh, S or gold character that you have, and it will take all their stats, all the upgrades that you've put into that character, and then transfer it to the gold one. So basically, like you don't, you don't really have to sacrifice progression for the sake of not wanting to waste resources, which is really, really cool. Oh, that's an awesome skin. So hues are basically just skins for your characters. And those are in the pool uh, of the gacha. Um, there's no weapons per se in, in the gacha itself. There's really only uh, characters, hues, and fucking XP, which, which sucks. <laughs> it's bad, I hate getting those. All right, that's Asuna. There are some characters that I'm pretty happy with getting dupes of, Asuna being one of them, uh, Kuroyuki Hime, and uh, Shana, Shayna. Those are really good too, just because I'm, I'm trying to upgrade a lot of their talents, and each shard uh, that you get from a character, which you can get by disassembling dupes, uh, you can then use those shards to upgrade. Oh, shit, I'm a Shiro. Nice. Lots of hues. Um, you can then take those shards and upgrade your character's talents, which you know, makes them stronger. Damn. Alright, so I think I have her already. Um, also, you get a guaranteed A character every 10 pulls, so every multi you're guaranteed at least one purple character, which is pretty cool. Um, which ties back into being able to progress with a character and not having to worry about like rationing your resources or holding out on your progression to wait until you get maybe an S-class character. All right, so that's 10 tickets down. Sorry, uh, had, 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 had something interrupted. Um, so more XP, which really sucks. Taigo. Another thing about this game that I really like is the fact that you can you can buy characters. Uh, let's see. I guess we should get this. Yeah, buy 20 more tickets. Um, and what I mean by buying characters is, so if, if you get like a whole bunch of gotcha points, which you'll get every single pull that you do, you can then take those gotcha points to the exchange and every week there will be one or two characters and two hues that you can buy. Like the characters are just the straight up S class characters. So if you get super unlucky in your pulls and you're just not able to pull what you want, um, I think only non-limited characters will come in here, but you know, just keep an eye out on this character exchange and you know, character might come up. I've gotten a couple already. Uh, I bought Leafa last week. She's a crazy good healer. Plus, you know, she's bae. Uh, let's see, all right, 20, all right, let's keep going. So we're guaranteed the S version of Shauna, I believe. Um, I can't remember if it's, I think it's like 34 pulls or something like that. 36, 34, 36. All right. So more Kuryuki Hime Deeps, which I'm, I'm cool with because I'm trying to level up her limited version. Uh, Neko, Kuro Neko, something or other. I forget what her name is. It's really tough. I can't really tell. There's like a little bit more voice acting. If there's like a S-class something. No. 
a Wenther. Zero? Damn. All right, so... So 19 down, so this is 20th pull. This should be an A character. All right, Akko. Really good healer. Kind of tanky too, to be honest with you. So 21 down. I mean, I usually end up going down to zero for, for these limited characters. Just because they're so good. Plus, I mean, look how freaking cute she is. XP. I think the 66th draw is when I get the A version. Yuki? Alright, so we're at 2% for S class right now. Asuna. Come on, baby. Alicia. She's actually a really strong support unit, too. Enju? Damn. So, 31 pulls now? Damn it. Wrong shot. <laughs> okay. So, we got the A version. I think that's guaranteed at a certain amount of pulls. Which I'm, I'm cool with. But, 57, yeah, so it's a 34th pull, you're guaranteed, I, I think it's like a, a like a mini guarantee timer. Um, I have heard people say that there is a chance for it to be the S version as well. Um, I don't know what I should do, man. Like, save the Mygo, save the tickets, and just try and maybe upgrade her because you can upgrade your characters from a lower rank to the next one up by using uh, by upgrading talents oh <sighs> hmm i don't know what to do because <laughs> like i'm fine with the s i have i have quite a few good s characters or um a characters but 
having that gold is really good. Maybe we'll tr fuck it. We'll just go a few more times. All right, some Miyuki Hue. Okay. Miyuki's a really good character too. Troll me, dude. When when it doesn't immediately show up, I think there's gonna be the animation for uh, for the S character. Troll me. Fuck it, dude. Let's just go. More Kuryuka Hime. That's a long charge. Fuck! <laughs> Every time it does that animation, man, it gets me. Every time. I don't. I don't know if there's some kind of identifier that it is going to be a higher rank character or not. I hope I don't have to go down to pity for her. That's gonna hurt. But what you do for the anime waifus, man. <laughs> I swear I heard some I heard Shanna's voice. I was like, what is that gonna be it? No. No. Kitty toe. Portaco. Damn, it's almost a 20 minute video. Singles! Woo! As I said, I'm, I'm happy with Kuro Yukihimi dupes. It, she's definitely one of my favorite characters. I'm trying to get Lord Hope. Super strong, too. I'll take more Alicia's. That's cool. Another A and you. Oh, that wasn't even the guaranteed A too. Shitty robot. Come on, Shana, come home. More robots. Alright, we're almost at 3%. Fucking <sighs> XP. Alright, back in. I'm not gonna spend that much. That's a lot of money. Oh shit. All right, uh, one second. All right, so we're back. Back in. For some reason it wouldn't let me buy anything on the emulator, so I had to pop off, get on my phone, do that, and now we're back. <laughs> All right, so 10 more pulls. I, I don't wanna have to go down to pity. I hope not, let's just go. Let's just go. Damn it, that lag. Come on, Sean. <laughs> no, <laughs> wrong one. <laughs> but thank you, game. 
I've seen this dude too many times today. Yes! Mm. Yeah. Awesome. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. 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 Very nice. Sweet. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 56. That's, um... I think that's about what it took for me to get Asuna. I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, I guess I guess while I'm here, I, I can show you how to. Uh... Wait, what? Character displaying space or an aura. I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what that means. Um, I wonder if it... If I'll be able to feed the other one in. Of course. Alright, so... That's strange. Why... Huh. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But, um, yeah, so when it comes to inheriting, basically, I'll be able to take that purple and, um, like, basically feed it to this gold version, and then I'll get whatever stats if I were to put anything into the purple version, uh, would then transfer to the gold. But I don't know why it's not working. But anyway, that's super tight. I'm very happy that uh, that we got her. And of course, she's got some really sweet costumes. This one right here is uh, Shiki from Garden of Sinners, I think. Um, one of my one of my buddies is a huge, huge Shiki fan. Shout out to you. you know who you are out there, my dude. Um, and uh, yeah, this is this is actually available through the event that's going on right now under the treasure hunt. I think, yeah. Um, exchange it for for these token things. So like free costumes, free gear, um, portraits, more tickets, but. So cute, so cute. So that's that. I, I'm really glad I didn't have to go down to zero, even though I did have to go a little bit pay to play, but it was only like five bucks. I, I really just spent five bucks because I needed the extra little bit of my go to buy those limited tickets because you can only use paid my go for limited tickets, which kind of sucks, but I understand it is what it is. But yeah, that's awesome. Um, if you guys like the video, man, let me know down in the comments if you want to see more Crossing Void. I'm I'm level 54 right now. Uh, should, yeah, level 54. But I, I'm not like super, super knowledgeable about the game. I know a little bit, um, but I'm just kind of taking it casual right now. But if you want to see more on the channel, if you want to see more gameplay, more summons, you know, whatever, let me know down in the comments. Uh, hit that like, hit that sub button. And uh, yeah, man, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll catch you later. Peace.